Well, I'm out here at Iberkstrand. A little seashell right there. One right there. I'm sitting on a tire. There's a, another little tire over there. Plane up in the sky. <sighs> sitting across of a bay inlet. I say I'm watching the tide roll away, but I haven't been here that long. The sun's gone behind that big old cloud. You can see some sun shafts coming through it. The sky looks a little bit weirdly colored over there, but I think that's just because the sun is bouncing around. I've had a bunch of expats that I've seen. There's a guy in Sweden, a couple guys in Germany, Americans and an Australian that have said, how has current country they are in have changed you, changed me, them, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I know it has, but I just, I don't know what. I've seen such a gradual change. I was gonna, you know, I think to myself, I, I, I'm outside more. No. I went outside a lot before. I did a walking in the nature park. Went outside with Willie. Haven't had a car in two years. That's saying something. Um, I mean, technically we're almost September 5th. We're almost a month after my anniversary. But I've definitely hit the two year mark here. <laughs> Not even two years in, and we moved to a different apartment. And I was telling Aaron that I don't think that this one is a... I think this is labeled the indefinite apartment. If it stays permanent, that's fine. But it could be a lot of things. I've been taking some vlog notes from Jacob Templar. Australian, living in Hildesheim, Germany, Deutschland, um, Deutschland, and uh, he does a lot of nature shots. I could too. I was actually thinking of heading out south, west, southwest, west, westerly south, over, over that way, and going and seeing the sheep, but as late as it is, I'm not sure if the sheep would be out. So I just came down here to Iberstrand. I'm gonna go get Burritos Anonymous later. There's the quicksand area. They're making sure that it's nice and settled before they let people on it though. They've been piling sand up on there for a while. I wish I could go back over there, up and over those hills behind the volleyball nets. go see what it actually looks like over there because I know they're just building onto that island this island this peninsula got a little bird right there see if I can zoom in on it without... aside from my voice you guys can hear it's super quiet the construction vehicles if I shut up. Just pumping more sand onto this whole area. My island's back over that way somewhere. Sometimes I don't know how far in how far away it is or how far it isn't. That's actually the direction. Let's see if you guys can hear that. I 
wish I had a drone. I just fly it up real quick and see what's over there, but I can't see over the dune. And yeah, the uh, that shore points in the direction of my island. So, I think that tower is the one that I consider on the corner next to the uh, bridge. It looks like it from here, but I'm zoomed in so far, every little hand jiggle. Peaceful day at the beach. Sun's gone behind the cloud. People are scram doodling. The closer buoys are knee deep for me. Next one's out, probably go up to my waist. Can't go beyond the other ones. I got a fence up. Yeah. Maybe I should figure out how this has changed me. Feels like it hasn't, but I'd be an idiot to assume that it hasn't. I mean, it has to, <laughs> it just does. You don't live in some place like Amsterdam for two years and not have a, a little bit of change, a little bit of Ray of sunlight. 